Hey, good morning everybody. It's Brittany at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. I started this up a little early. I'm walking from my office. I'm gonna walk through the whole sanctuary. Good morning, Deb. Hi, Natalie. Good morning, Val. Good morning, Sarah. I know it takes a while for you guys to get the notification and to start sharing, so I am gonna have another crazy busy day, but most of it's gonna be inside and it is a gorgeous morning. It's in the like low 60s, a nice cool breeze, nice and sunshiny. Hey, Vicki. I apologize, for some reason I'm not seeing very many comments I see something pop up and then it freezes there for a few minutes here's Miss Amanda patiently waiting on breakfast morning Mandy I know I'm not the feeder she just looks like a silhouette up there sun rising behind her good morning Dorothy good morning Dee Hi, Susan. I have missed you guys. <clears throat> so we are gonna... Hi! I miss... Hi, Mandy. Hi, Miss Mandy. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning, Noor. Hi, Debbie. I know, you haven't had breakfast, so I'm gonna keep my distance. I don't think you can get two Zen moments in a week. What? I know, they're coming. I heard that meds were done. They're coming. So this is Amanda Tiger. She's 24 years old. She's our oldest cat on property. Good morning, Chris. Oh, I just missed who donated. Thank you very much for the donation. Yep, that's the feeder. I see him. <laughs> so we are just getting started. I'm going to take a nice long walk because I'm going to be trapped inside all day. I've got these lovely vultures swarming vacation as always. <laughs> intern blue shirt down here so this is the outback section so that means it is that feeder will feed sapphire and amanda and then whoever's on vacation rotation outback used to be the biggest scariest longest section to feed now there's only a couple Looks like it's Fred. Fred is a level five intern here. He'll be the one rushing over to feed Amanda. So Sapphire is eating her breakfast. I won't disturb her too much. Amanda says, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> So Miss Sapphire here, she's just in her feeding lockout. You can see there's a door right behind her. She can walk right out of there when she wants to. But right now she's got a ton of chicken and beef to eat. She gets about 10 pounds of food a day. Thank you guys so much for the donations. I don't know why my, my comments are not moving. I see like one for like a couple minutes at a time. So I am sorry if I don't shout out to everybody or answer every single question, but we have some amazing people that watch our lives every single time we go live and they are a wealth of knowledge. So they can definitely reach out and answer your questions if you're new. It's hard to shout out over 700 people and <laughs> to show you the cats all at the same time. It's 
So Sapphire is a female white tiger. She's just having breakfast. I'm keeping my distance though. I don't want to disturb her or make her feel like she's threatened, like I'm going to take it. That is all her. Big question that people have about our feeding lockouts. I think they don't always understand the purpose of them. But you can see, oh, that was Amanda. Give it a nice little rough. Um, the purpose of these is so that the cats have a safe place to come in and eat. It's in a small space so that a keeper can walk around and look at them from every single side. Um, this is our best time of day to observe the cats. So are they eating properly? Are they walking properly? How do their eyes look, their ears, their feet, their tail? All the kinds of things that we can't really see when they're out in their main enclosures. And if we ever needed to take her elsewhere, so on a trip to the vet or to vacation, although she has a tunnel hooked up that she can go through, that is um, the best way for us to be able to uh, get the them trapped in there um, and then transfer transfer them around. But most of the big cats have tunnels. Small cats though, that's really important because we can drop that door and put a transport on the other side and they can walk right in and there you go. But if we ever needed to vaccinate her without wanting to sedate her or do anything like that, these lockouts are perfect for that. Are you gonna be a clean plate girl? Well, I haven't been to Nikita yet. I just got uh, from my office onto property and we've only seen Amanda and now we're here with Sapphire. There are some daredevil birds. There's two right above her just talking up a storm. <laughs> They're hoping she's going to leave some leftovers. I don't know if she will or not. Oh, she is going to leave some leftovers. So everybody that's confused about a lockout, you can see that she just walked right out. She has a huge enclosure. Hi, lady. Those birds are just driving you nuts, huh? So we'll see where she wants to go now. This little rock area right here is a like a half circle den. You gonna go out in your open air? So she has an open air section and a roofed section. So now you can see she can come through this little tunnel and now she's out in an area with a big platform and hammocks and all kinds of toys and it's a big open roof area. You could go finish, tell those birds to get lost. Remember everybody when there's trolls and haters and the people that you just don't want to see in the comments, just ignore them. People that have real legit questions, we're always happy to answer those. Where are you going now? I'm going to keep walking. She's like, nope, I think I'm going to stay over here and digest. She has not destroyed the new toy yet. However, the very top of it has some serious bite marks and claw marks in it. Yeah, she, she hasn't even laid down and she's already started grooming. You're absolutely correct. It's food time, bath time, nap time. <laughs> the life of a captive cat. And then afternoon, it's sickle time. Operant treat time. All right, she's gonna just chill over there, I think. She might follow us. 
go see what everybody else is doing. I'm walking myself up to the gift shop to pack the mailbox. And then I've got a few things I need to do at my desk, like my regular normal job. And then I will be back in the gift shop shipping. <laughs> that is nonstop right now. So now we've moved on. This is Jasmine's enclosure. But I have a feeling she is eating breakfast. So we're just gonna take a long walk. I hope you guys don't mind. I have a cart. I just decided I didn't wanna use it today. I'd rather just enjoy a long walk. And I figured you guys would enjoy coming along. Oh yeah, Jasmine's currently eating, so we're not gonna stop there. I don't wanna be a distraction and you already just watched Sapphire. Police having breakfast as well. Hi, Mama. Do you clean plate? Hi, Kali. Good girl. Is that a good breakfast? That looked like a good breakfast and you're all done. Hi. She's like, um, I'm still swallowing. Are you gonna lay down right there? Such a full belly, you can't even make it out of lockout barely. Her tail's still in there. Oh. That must have been a good breakfast. We feed a large assortment of meats here. So today it looked like it was a chicken breast um, and beef, but we do all kinds of things. All kinds of things, huh? Chicken and turkey, some of the small cats like fish. We've got pork and beef. All right, <laughs> there she goes. She's gonna chase Fred. Um, who was that that just asked about that? Oh, my thing will not scroll properly. Sorry, I think it was Jamie asked about the auctions. So, <laughs> we had been gearing up to do auctions for Paul prints, Paul paintings, other original artwork that we have around the sanctuary um, several months ago. And unfortunately, when COVID-19 shut everything down, Oh, Cyrus is eating too. Everybody's eating and I don't want to disturb them. So, <clears throat> we had put the message out to everybody to go sign up and get on an email list and we would alert you. There's Carla feeding Nikita. We would alert you when we do the auctions on eBay. Well, then COVID shut us down <laughs> and then we lost a lot of staff members and all of our roles have changed. And we've put it on hold a little bit. Morning. This is Nikita. It's okay, mama. I also asked the girl that watches that email list how many people had signed up for the email and it was not even 300 people. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna be really upset if we do an auction that you didn't know about. So if you are interested in the auction, you have to sign up at bigcatrescue.org auction. 
get on that email list. That way when I do an email blast, you guys will be the first to know that, hey, we're gonna do this auction on eBay on this date. Hi, Mama, that was very quick. That was very quick. So Nikita here is our only lion. She's also just in her feeding lockout. She gets four pounds of food for her full meal, but she does get an AM and PM because of um, the meds that she's on. So she gets a little snack in the morning before breakfast and a snack at night. So if you guys are interested in those auctions, I'm hoping we'll do them next month, but honestly, as long as we are this backlogged, with shipping for our regular sales from our gift shop. There's no way I'm gonna be able to focus the time on that either. So I'm really hoping it'll be in May, but it might be further back. The only the good ad advantage is that we continue to collect things, um, paw prints and things. So right now I have an Amanda Tiger, a Malachite Rehab, and we just did Max Tiger. So those are paw prints that you'll be able to um, bid on. Whoa. Where are we going? So she's gonna show you that she's, she's gonna go where she wants. Where are we going? I think we're zooming the, back to the open air section. You guys can watch Nikita 24 seven at bigcatcams.com. The lady on a mission. So all of these big cats that have um, roofed sections and open air sections, that is because during bad weather, so if winds are 30 miles an hour or higher, we call the cats in so that if anything fell in their open air sections, it wouldn't harm the cat and it wouldn't just become a ramp out of the enclosure. On a mission. Are you gonna get your yellow ball? She never roars in front of me. It always makes me sad because Cameron used to do it in front of me all the time. And so did Joseph. I'm coming. We wanna hang out, lady. but she will always roar like five minutes after I've walked away, <laughs> which cracks me up. Where are we going? Hi, mama. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi. Hi, babe. Hi, babe. Yeah, so we've actually discussed doing um, the Paul castings for the auctions as well. We have a ton of ideas at this point. It's just become, first of all, nobody has signed up. Um, we know that, you know, we have over several million followers on Facebook. Hi. And over 170,000 on Instagram. And I just know that we're never going to hear the end of it if we do an auction and you guys feel like you missed out. So... <laughs> We just keep pushing it back until we feel like, you know, everybody has signed up. Where are we going? She's on patrol. We're on patrol. <laughs> you like pushing your way through that palmetto? Hi, baby. <laughs> Where are we going to lay down? I just love this girl, too. Yeah, our only lion. And this is where we're going to lay. Okay, can I sneak around ya? I want them to see your beautiful face, Mama. <laughs> Why do you, you just don't want me to? No, that's not very nice. 
She just doesn't want me to crouch down with her. All right. We'll walk along the back side of her enclosure to get back to the gate. Oh, I don't, I'm not going over there near those blue toys. She means business with the blue toys. Where are you going? Hi. Hi. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Pretty sure I just got lion slobber on my leg. I did. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. Good way to start the day. All right. Well, we're going to Gonna let her be. Clearly she doesn't really want company. <laughs> All right, I guess we're free to go. She says we can go. So this is the back side of her enclosure. I'm walking through like 90 spider webs as well. There's that tunnel she walked through. All the way around. This is what a keeper would walk looking for poop and old enrichment and checking the enclosure. We do that every day, twice a day. There's little teams of volunteers. There's the lockout crew, <laughs> the meds crew. Then there's the feeders and then there's the cleaners and then there's the double checkers. And then by afternoon, you've got people that are doing the food prepping and people that are doing the projects. Hello. She was a good girl. Yeah, <laughs> she did. And then she went and got grumbly at me. Sounds like our name. It does. <laughs> All right. like Armani's done. It's pretty hard to believe we only have two leopards. Some realities that are just hard to face as a keeper. Miss Mani, we cleaning our toes. Hi. Hi, baby. Whoa. 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 Good morning. Whoa. You can keep grooming. Look how beautiful you are in the sun. So again, this is Armani, female leopard in her early 20s. What's your day look like, lady? Well, is he napping until it's sickle time? This girl loves her a sickle. Any flavor. And she's smart enough to flip it on its flat side so it doesn't roll away from her.
Okay. Should we go see who else is out taking their bath? Yeah. I think so too. Oh, that person might have food. That person on the cart might have food. Nope. <laughs> oh, that looks like a very good spot to soak up the sun today. That's a very good spot to soak up the sun. Hi. I sure do love you, Armani. Yeah. I tell you that every day. Yep. Look at that tail. Of course, I'm in the shadow of that tail. There we go. Whoa. Try to get myself out of the shadow. <laughs> I know. Yep, she's got her solar charger on. Gotta digest all that food. Okay. Thank you guys so much for all your donations. We are gonna keep walking. feeders have made it to the end here. Let's see if we can see some cats though. I don't I definitely don't want to distract Diablo. He's in his lockout eating so don't want to disturb him. My guess is Dev is probably done eating. So we've seen several big cats. Saw some tiger girls. We saw our lion and we saw Armani, our leopard. So let's go see some small cats. Des is usually a pretty quick eater, so, yep, I see him. Hi, Desi. For those of you that follow us regularly, you know that Des is a three-legged serval. Hi, mister. I won't get any closer. Whoa. Gonna eat grass? Yeah, you, you small cats love to do that. You small cats love to do that. And he's getting that new, fresh, green grass growing, and he loves it. <laughs> Gotta have, you're supposed to eat your salad before dinner, not after. So Des was found already having three legs on the side of the road in Arizona over a decade ago. Most likely was somebody's pet or part of the pet breeding industry. Well, I wish you could tell us. Yeah. Can you tell us your life history? That'd be very helpful. be very, very helpful. I don't want 
to get any closer because it'll get him all upset. Whoa. Look at that cute face. Oh. There's Nala in the background. We'll go see if we can get a good look at her today, too. Des. What are you talking about? What are you going to do today? I think all your sunny spots are on the other side. Should we go see what your neighbors are doing? <laughs> what are you talking about? Very handsome boy. You are a very, very handsome boy. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear his little noises. Okay, I'm trying to be a scary Halloween cat lady. Go away. All right, handsome. all the attitude in that tail. All right, mister, have a good day. Have a good day, buddy. <laughs> oh, he cracks me up. All right, where'd Miss Nala go? Nala Bean. Oh, there you are. Hi. Which direction are you headed? Okay, that way. So we just reassigned every single operant keeper to brand new operant cats. And my husband got Nala and I was excited for him. She's very, very sweet when food is involved because she'll come right over. She'll participate. And I'd like for her to like at least one of us. <laughs> See if she comes back. Nala! Hi, Beanie. So you can see she's got several sections to her enclosure. She can walk through that doorway. And it goes, it wraps all the way around to where Des was. You really got, gonna not say hello? I want them to see your adorable face. You have the cutest face. All right, bye-bye. Nala loves me when I have food. Otherwise, I don't exist pretty much, which is fine. I have plenty of other cats that demand my attention, but <laughs> it's probably for the best not to have another one. Here's Ginger. Gigi. Hi. Gonna hang out up there? This is Ginger. That would have been a photo. It's so hard to get the cats to look up and get natural light in their eyes. Yeah, it would have been beautiful. Beautiful photo.
I know. Hi. Hi, pretty. Where's your neighbor? I figured Mr. Rowdy would be over here by now. She's like, all right, but I gave you a moment. Just one moment. Hey, Hutch. Hi, mister. I see movement. Hutch, Hutch. Here he comes. Hi, mister. Meow. Hi, cute boy. Hi. Yes. Come say hi to us. Come say hello. Yeah. Meow. Meow. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. He's like, oh, there's a lady. Does she have food for me? <laughs> he would like seconds, please. <laughs> so, so, yeah, it's the perfect word for it. <laughs> yes, you are, you are to a good weight for you, sir. Yeah. You're so silly. You're so silly. Isn't it amazing the servals have spots and stripes? They're the only species of cat that has that as prominent. I know cheetahs have a little bit of striping on their faces and stuff, but it's just amazing. Nature is absolutely amazing. Stripey tail. Oh, you like your new green grass too? That's not the end we wanna see. Although you're, you do have like the cutest little raccoon tail. Look at that tail. <laughs> Munching on grass. You and Des been talking. You and Des been talking. Yeah. Or Beecher. Beecher must have sent out a memo. Hey, that new really green grass is really tasty. So I'll try it. My husband and I had been planning a trip to Africa in 2020, which is totally, most likely never happening now, <sighs> which is sad, but it's funny because when people go there, of course they want to see the big five, but I'm like, I really want to see a serval <laughs> and a caracal. Like I've just grown so attached to them here. It would be so awesome to see them in the wild, doing what they were meant to do. Gotta rub your butt on your pole. That's his new thing. He loves that. <sighs> You're so silly. All right, bud, bud. Have a good day. Let's go see if we have some bobcats that are done with breakfast. That would be Max and Marianne, hopefully. Sometimes they're super cute after breakfast. Here's Ginger again. Hi. You gonna claw your tree? Yeah, okay. Have fun. I mean, of course I wanna see lions as well, but <laughs> it's so rare. Um, when I was in India a few years ago, of course we went specifically to try to see um, tigers in the wild and we did but what was amazing was that we saw a jungle cat <laughs> well, 
Oh no. <laughs> that's been that's been a thing with him lately. Marianne. You're actually gonna get second breakfast. I hear a toad. So Max stole Marianne's breakfast. Oh honey. Oh honey. She's gonna get you more. She's gonna go get you more, sweet girl. You hear that toad, the frog? Yeah, we actually saw so many different things in India. It was mind blowing. You go there and you're like, nah, I wanna see tigers. And then the amount of things we saw was absolutely unreal. Where is Maxie? Did not see a leopard though, and I was a little sad about that. Um, but we did find leopard tracks and leopard scat. Well, I don't know where Max went. Let's keep walking and we'll see what other bobcats are out. Max is obviously indisposed while eating Marianne's breakfast plus his. That cat does not need to get any bigger. <laughs> he's like three times her size and not just because he's a male, he's a little chubby right now. <laughs> Sue has been a volunteer and a coordinator for many, many, many years now, over 10 and are close to 10 and so she's on it on the case here's a biscuit there's a biscuit hi bud i heard you were a pretty good boy so I mentioned earlier, we reassigned everybody with new operant cats and that was myself included. So cats that I have had since the beginning of my operant training, cats I've had for over two years um, have been reassigned to other people and it was bittersweet because I want them to get used to other new people. But And I'll still be able to work with them from time to time, it's just had to hand them over and Nabisco was one of them. But I'm so proud of him because he was a nightmare. He, <laughs> you guys remember that he used to just scale the side of the enclosure. He'd jump at your face and swipe at your face and he'd pay no attention to the fact that there was food on a stick, that you were trying to teach him things. And <laughs> I saw uh, his keeper, Bethian, logged for him and said he did really good. He was getting a little swipey, which he still did from time to time. but. I'm just so proud and like I just hope that his, all his new trainers enjoy working with him and can help reinforce his craziness. Hi Zuzu! Here's Zukari. Can I come say hi to you? So Nabisco was reassigned and Mrs. Claus was reassigned. I won't lie though I did keep smalls. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever not have smalls. Hi, mister. One of the only other servals that doesn't always greet me with a hiss. Hi, cute boy. Not nearly as friendly as Hutch's towards me or Pharaoh, but. But that means I got all new cats too. Cats I'm looking forward to working with. Hi. So, oh, I also did hand over Kelona and Dryden and you guys will be very happy to know that um, Becky got them for her operant training. So those cats will never, <laughs> never go hungry. So my um, new operant cats are Gilligan and Filmo Bobcat. Oh, sweet boy. And Kimba. 
and Max and Simba. So the operant committee, which is myself and Lauren B and Jen R and um, Catherine, and we, the four of us are planning to work heavily with the three new boys to get them used to it and safe so that eventually we could assign them to others. And then of course I still have smalls and I'll still be working with Kelona and Dryden from time to time, but they have officially been handed over to actually several other keepers. I think Becky and Amanda both have Kelona and Dryden now. So we want them to, because they, they pretty much consistently come running over for operant now, um, as long as it's more in the evening or first thing in the morning. Midday, they're just snoozing and they could care less. And they do that with everyone, but we want them to start getting used to all new people, so. Silly zoo, very rubby and rolly. Yep, all three new boys. Max is amazing. He's really, really good. Kimba is very shy and timid when he takes the meat, so he's not yet aggressive um, with the stick or the tongs. He actually kind of barely takes the meat um, and just looks a little like, you know, what's about to happen, which makes me incredibly sad. Um, Jen and Catherine actually said the first time they worked with him that he kind of was cowering a little bit, and my guess is it's from the stick, and my guess is Guatemala Circus did not treat them very well with a stick. But Lauren and I have never seen him do that to us. So I don't know if it's because there were two of them or I didn't get the full story on that. But he's been really, really good. I've worked with him three times. I will say the third time he started kind of pressing his luck to see what he might be able to get away with. So I think he is going to be a, a risk as far as trying to take a stick from somebody. So we'll see. That's the whole point of the training program. And I'm gonna do what I usually do. I work with my cats with operant, but I also, when I can't do operant with them, I give them all kinds of enrichment. So they'll get spice bags and perfume tubes and sickles from me so that they can uh, just get used to me coming over and bringing them something, even if it's not food on a stick. It, it, it was very heartbreaking to hear, but I, like I said, Lauren and I haven't had that experience with him, so I don't know why that happened, but Max is doing really, really well, though. He's been on meds, though, for quite a long time, so now he's really used to that, and he can do a down really good, and Kimba can do a down really good. So Simba is the one that is really, really, really aggressive. And he's, he's fine if you use metal tongs, but if you use a wooden stick, he's more determined to get that stick from you than he is to take the food. <laughs> so We all know that Kimba was beaten very, very badly from those circus workers, um, especially in the handoff to ADI. They have actual footage of it, and it absolutely broke my heart. So that's, that's why I told myself before they ever even arrived and I ever met any of them, that I was gonna work really hard to earn his trust and to make sure he felt love. So that's what we're doing. And with operant conditioning, we only do really natural behaviors. We just call them to the side of the cage. If they come to the side of the cage, they get a treat. If they lay down and hang out with us, they get some treats. If they walk along the side and follow us from section to section of their enclosure, they get treats. If they go into lockout, they get treats and that's for vet purposes. So if we ever needed them in a lockout, that's what we do. Yeah, you are cracking me up. You weren't even given like catnip or anything. Nothing, nothing. So silly. That's honestly why I was so excited when Kimba went on vacation and found his big boy pants because I just loved the idea that, you know, the way he was acting is probably something that he had been, you know, 
reprimanded for and the fact that we can just let him be him no matter how scary it is <laughs> he can roar at us all he wants and no one's ever gonna put a hand on him so that was actually really exciting for me um, to see him you know come through like that Aries is doing really really well on Funcation He's getting all the treats and all the exercise. He's kind of a big guy. We gotta watch his weight carefully, but he's getting a lot of exercise out there. Hi, Gilly. Woo! So this is Gilligan. Worked with him last night. Hi, mister. You and Frankie wanna hang out, I can tell. I can tell. Woo! Oh, going the other way. All right. Later. Later. So Gilligan is very stubborn. And his last set of keepers could hardly ever get him to come over and take food or follow them or really do any of the operant commands. He's very, very stubborn. And the look on his face is always hilarious because you can tell he's just like, uh-uh, not doing that. But last night, after meds time, I had brought out extra meat in order to work with him. Use a zoom in. And he, at first, he just kept yawning and giving me that like, yeah, I'm not doing that look. Here's Frankie over here. And so I tossed a treat towards him and he looked at me like, how dare you put something near me like that? Hi, it was just a piece of meat. No, that's not cool. When'd you start doing that? <laughs> well, Frankie no longer fires blanks, everyone. He will definitely pee on you. This is Frankie Bobcat. So anyway, and it was adorable because he, he looked really determined to be stubborn. And then all of a sudden I watched his little nose start sniffing the air. And then he realized, oh, that was food. And so then he got up and took that treat and I had another piece on the stick waiting for him and then he came right over and did a whole operant session with me. So that was pretty awesome. I don't know if that'll happen twice in a row, but it worked out pretty well. Where are you going? That's Pharaoh calling. You hear Pharaoh? Hi. I know, this This is just a stabilizer, no treats. No treats. <laughs> that is why we keep extra sets of clothes on hand all the time here. <laughs> it could be rain and mud, it can be urine, <laughs> it can be who knows what. Hi handsome, love you Gilly. No, all right. Luckily he didn't get me. If he did, I think he might have gotten my shoe, but these shoes never ever go in my house, so we're good there. <laughs> Woo! Okay, I'm going. Yep, Pharaoh is calling for mama. Let's go over and see. We're almost finally up to the gift shop, so it's probably where we'll end for today. I'm really hoping, weather permitting, we'll do a walkabout um, tomorrow and the next day. Oh, there you are. Hi, cutie pie. This is Loki. Hi, cutie pie. Hey, Afton, can you hear three? Hi, cutie pie. Okay. Hi, handsome man. You are just so darn cute. Are so darn cute. Yes, you are. He's watching lizards. He is a pro at that. You're a pro at lizard catching, huh? Cute boy. Do you see how well he blended in? I didn't even realize he was out yet. And then he opened his eyes. Cute boy.
You blend right in, sir. So handsome. So handsome. Yep, he blends right in. Look at you in there. It's perfect. It's very much perfect. So I did try to work with Filmo last night. All right, I won't press my luck. I feel very special, thank you, Loki. Filmo was out running around hunting birds last night and so he was way too distracted to come over to do operant. So I just kind of tossed him a treat or two so maybe he'd start being like, oh, sometimes when that lady comes over, there's food. But <laughs> he never did come over to me, so thank God I had a win with Gilligan and Kimba yesterday. Let's see, is he in his tree? Yep, he's up in his tree. Which he's so smart about, because look at that sunspot up there. Got your solar panels on, sir. Hi, handsome. Hi, handsome. This is Filmo. So apparently Dylan had told me to be careful over here because there's a little bushy tree thing over here that has a nest with two baby birds in it. And the parents were dive bombing the keepers as they would walk by. And it was funny because they just raked and cleaned up Filmo's enclosure and put down new grass seed. So the mama and daddy bird <laughs> I've been trying to eat the grass seed in his enclosure, which make them go in the enclosure, and then that's when Filmo starts trying to stalk them and hunt them. Where are you going? Are you gonna come down? That would be shocking. Say so, you nope, know, just talk to this end. Talk to this end. Filmo! You better come down here, Phil. Yeah. Show everybody how you come up and down out of the tree. A lot of times when we're trying to text or talk to people about Filmo, the phone will autocorrect and call him Philip. So I've started calling him Philip. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Every cat today has just been like, nope, here's my tail. Where are you going? Just doing some tree yoga. Oh, that reminds me of Andy Bobcat. Andy Bobcat would sit up in her tree for half a day and she would just be like stretched out as if she was doing like yoga poses. And then one day she got way too old to be up in the tree so they had to take it all down. Where's Shiloh? We have a Shiloh. <laughs> oh, we're already starting with projects. Where's there a Shiloh Bob? gotten here too late. Oh, there he is. I see a, a white ear and a tail in there. I don't know if you guys see it. There is no good angle for him either. There's a tail moving. I see your tail moving. Silo. I know you're not totally asleep. 
I know you're not totally asleep. Well, thank you guys all very much for taking a walk with me this morning. I am gonna start on my giant to-do list, starting in the gift shop. Thank you again to everybody who donated today, everyone who's been shopping on our online stores, everybody who shared this feed for us. Yep, well, we've all we've seen are little butts today and tails, so we might as well end on a cute little bobcat tail. So thank you guys so, so much for joining me and everybody who helped answer questions and dealt with any negativity that was in the comments today. You guys are truly heroes to us and you're helping us keep going. So thank you guys very much. Everybody stay safe and stay healthy and you can rewatch this if you came in in the middle or at the end. You can go to dailybigcat.com or you can watch it right here on our Facebook page. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you again to everybody who did order from our store and haven't received your items. Thank you for being patient. <laughs> we are definitely backlogged, but we are working as fast as we can. All right, take care everyone. I will hopefully see you again tomorrow.